On February 10, 2016, Dr. Johannes Haile Selassie, curator of physical anthropology at the Cleveland Museum of Natural History, was at the Amato locality of the Waranzo Mile site in Ethiopia when he was approached by a local Afar with a potential hominin specimen. Upon examination, he identified the specimen as an upper jaw and went directly to where the specimen was found. Within moments of arrival, he found the rest of the cranium a mere three meters away. My first instinct was that these two pieces would perfectly join. I picked up the maxilla and I picked up the cranium and click. Perfect cranium. We decided that we need to sieve. We sieved and uh, picked for three days at this place. And um, whatever we recovered perfectly fitted on the main specimen. The team found key remnants of the orbital region. The now remarkably complete cranium is the first hominin cranium for the Waranzo Mile Paleontological Study Area and the first from its geological age. The cranium was taken back to the Paleoanthropology Laboratory at the National Museum in Ethiopia. Given the name MRD, the specimen was thoroughly cleaned and assembled. A CT scan allowed the team to reconstruct the few missing parts and take measurements of the head, face, and its cranial capacity. The final reconstruction was used to conduct an extensive comparative analysis against all known hominin cranium from the Pliocene between 2.5 and 4 million years ago. MRD has a mosaic of features, some of which are shared with the earliest human ancestors, while other characters look more like Lucy species Australopithecus afarensis. We know how old it is because our geologists have been working hard. They took a lot of samples from the various horizons where the specimen was found, and we also did paleomagnetic analysis of the sediments, and both geochronological age and the paleomagnetic uh, data corroborate in terms of giving us a good idea in terms of how old it is. These findings, now published in two manuscripts in the journal Nature, date MRD to 3.8 million years old and assign the cranium to Australopithecus anamensis, giving us the first glimpse of the species' total craniofacial morphology. This monumental discovery also reshapes our understanding of hominin evolution. It disproves a widely accepted idea of a linear progression of evolution. So now what we know is the potential ancestor of Australopithecus anamensis and its descendant of Australopithecus afarensis actually overlapped in time, at least 400,000 years. The discovery of MRD advances the Cleveland Museum of Natural History's role as a global leader in the study of human origins. MRD is perhaps Dr. Haile Selassie's most significant find in his prolific career in physical anthropology thus far. Uh, knowing how rare these specimens are when you find it is really rewarding and uh, encouraging to go and find these fossils and communicate what they mean to the rest of the world.